Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm gonna do a gear review today, sort of. And I say sort of because I'm not gonna be reviewing a specific model like gear reviews usually do. This is going to be on an item that everybody should have in their home. No matter who you are, you're prepping or not, you call yourself a prepper, everybody should have one of these. Power outages, tornadoes, weather in general, bad weather, emergencies, etc. And that is a backup emergency radio. This radio is going to allow you to listen to at least the weather. And that is going to give you the ability to know if it is a storm or weather related incident, you know, what's going on with that weather, what's going on with that storm. But there's some key features you wanna pay attention to on this specific type of device. And that is you need multiple ways to power it. For most people, unless you're me, who sets a timer for every three months, he goes down and refreshes literally every battery operated device, refreshing by charging it to a stable level for that type of battery. Lithium ion batteries, you know, 40 to 60% somewhere in there. You don't wanna overcharge, you don't wanna undercharge. I find this thing is always dead. This is the one item that is dead 100% of the time, guaranteed, it's going to be flat out dead. And that's not a big deal, right? Because if this is, the you know, battery ends up dying on it, it's not gonna be a huge deal, right? Because you have a solar panel right here. You've got a fancy solar panel that'll be able to put juice into this thing. It's a 2000 watt or 2000 milliamp battery. You know, it, not the biggest battery in the world. It's actually quite small. We'll charge an iPhone, half charge. If I remember correctly, it's just a very small battery, but better than nothing. And what this is gonna end up doing is, you've got power by the sun. This thing will last forever, unless there's no sun, right? We all know that, that's gonna be a problem. You also have the ability, if you still have power in your home, no big deal. You can plug it into your wall, to an outlet, to an adapter, and you could charge this thing right up. You're gonna have as much power as the electricity or the grid allows you to have. If your power's out, you have no sun, you have a backup of a backup, and that's the hand crank right here. I'm sure you've heard that sound before. I'll never forget that sound. They all sound the same relatively, right? You have a way to manually charge this thing. You can see the light, the indicator turn on right here. You'll get the same with the sun, right? With the solar panel, if using that. This does charge slowly, obviously, with the solar, but it, you know, it's better than nothing. That's all great. You've got solar, you have hand crank, you have the wall charger, you have, you know, those three ways right there to power this device. Use this as a very small battery bank, and I mean very small, half a charge on an iPhone, in my case. You can use your USB right there to charge your device. Pretty handy tool to have, right? You've got your radio. In the upper 20s to mid 30s. You've got your Taylor Swift, your favorite AM station, whatever at your disposal with a device like this. The downfall with this device, the ultimate downfall is number one, you get what you pay for, Justin. Don't expect to have a battery that lasts more than three months on $20 off of Amazon but it is the battery in itself. It's not the size, it's the type. It is not a removable or replaceable battery. This is a non-replaceable lithium ion battery. And if this is replaceable, I apologize, but there's no way <laughs> that a normal person is going to know how to resolder a battery. You're not gonna be able to see this, but that is hardwired in to the board from this angle you're not gonna be able to charge that or replace that with a AA battery unless you know what you're doing. If your battery dies, you have no ability to charge the thing. Your hand crank, you're not able to manually, this takes no effort to do, but the problem with these cheap gears, these are plastic gears in here, I've had a couple viewers claim that these gears break in no time. So. I'm not gonna sit here for hours or, you know, it's not, probably wouldn't take days to hand crank this thing and wait for it to break, but I'm going to trust that this isn't gonna be the top quality metal gears in here. So instead of doing that, I'm going to get a radio that has all of these features, the solar, the hand crank, the rechargeable battery, lithium ion, sure, 
but it needs to be replaceable or, or a battery backup. And like, and for example, a AA battery backup. And there's a lot of hand crank radios out there just like this, better quality. They're going up to 50 bucks. I haven't found one that I would buy for less than 50. I'll put some in the description and I'll actually do a review on the radio that I have. I'm two for two where this battery is number one garbage, but it's also, if it's dead, your only option likely, unless you're out camping or glamping, you're going to need to hand crank this thing and that's the only way you're gonna be able to get the thing to work. So trying to hear the weather trying to listen in while you're hand cranking this thing, you're gonna get tired of that pretty quick. Hopefully your hand crank doesn't break in the meantime. Again, not the normal gear review, right? But just don't go cheap on these things. Don't go cheap on anything. If you have to, unless you know the world's gonna to end tomorrow or a tornado's gonna to hit tomorrow, etc., cetera, I would, I would save up. I would put this in an Amazon list wait for the prices to go down on the better models. I will put a couple of those in the description. Not saying go out and buy a super expensive radio. This is better than nothing. But if you have the $50 or on sale, I'm sure they'll go down to maybe even $30, $40. It's worth getting a better brand, a better model, something at least, at least with a removable battery. And you can have, I mean, everybody has a couple double A's sitting around, even if they're not fully charged. Pull them out of a remote, etc. So I just want to do a quick video on that. This is one of those cheapo things that people buy and they kind of mark it off the list. I am one of them, no judgment. And this is one of those things that maybe you should double back on. And again, put it in the Amazon list, wait for Prime Day next year, you know, whatever you need to do to just get a better option and you will not beat yourself up for it the next time you are stuck in the basement trying to get some kind of information on the severe weather event that's happening above your head. There's always gonna be good, better, and best options out there, right? I tend to land on the better option. I don't wanna spend all my money on the best thing out there every single time. Sometimes it's okay to just go on the cheaper end. This is one of those options. Just make sure it has a replaceable battery. That's all I ask. All right, folks, I got an awesome video, I think, coming out on Saturday. I hope you enjoy it too, and I'll see you then.